So, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. One of the most unexpected cars I'm driving here at the pre-Christmas test drive event held by Autofocus is this, the 2022 Nissan Patrol Royale. I have always, always wanted to drive one of these. I'm, I'm a bit shaking right now because this is going to be the fastest car we'll ever drive on this event. It's going to be an insane driving experience with this. So, before we get to the nitin gets, so let's start with the exterior. This is already the new look of the Nissan Patrol Royale slash Armada. I like the chrome V-Motion grill. It is huge. It gives it like that distinct look of a Nissan Patrol. Side profile is alright, but I do love the Patrol and the V8 badge on the side. Not much to talk about really on the side profile and on the rear. Okay, I do prefer that than over the previous gen or pre-facelift model. And actually, I thought this does not have an electronic tailgate, but there actually is. It just takes a while, but again, you are greeted with a lot of space. So, you have 467 liters of space. And with the third row down, you have 1,413. And with all of the seats down, you have a whopping 2,623 liters. Towing capacity on the unbrake capacity with the trailer is 750 kilograms. So, now here in the interior, wow it feels so good it feels so spacious in here this is probably one of the most spacious things i've ever driven so far comparing with the f-150 raptor this feels way way bigger and more intimidating to drive so that i cannot wait this is the most luxurious nissan i've ever driven and on the steering wheel there's like wooden panels here on the steering wheel which is weird it might tend to get a little bit dirty with your fingerprints you have a normal instrument cluster which i find weird because i was expecting like a digital style like the nissan kicks or nissan leaf just being honest you have a 12.3 inch infotainment display with apple carplay and android auto below that you have your air conditioning vents further down below you have a wireless charging pad and a 12 volt socket more usb ports and then here in the center console again there's more wooden panel trims here i don't mind the wooden panel even though you get your fingerprints on it because at least it's not gloss black i'll take that and surprisingly for this you have a sunroof here only for the front seats but at least there still is i was wondering with this uh, center gold box when you open it it is small but it's actually a cool box so second row there's a lot of amenities there in the center you have for your air conditioning controls and two hidden usb ports space there in the back is infinite this is the most spacious second row i've ever encountered air conditioning vents on the ceiling but the third row uh yeah the feet room is not good as you can see my headroom i'm only 5'4 so it will be perfect only for small adults and children at the back. Powering this thing is a 5.6 liter naturally aspirated V8 with 400 horsepower and 560 newton meters of torque and is mated to a 7 speed automatic transmission. I don't talk about much about fuel tanks in my reviews but this one I have to do a consideration. This tank is 140 liters. Holy crap. And of course you need a big fuel tank for that engine because I cannot wait to know what my fuel economy is in this test drive. And I'm gonna drive it outside the Momo concert grounds. Holy. <laughs> so, as well, not much people talk about this engine. This actually used to power the Nissan GTR. Yes, a Nissan GTR back in 2011 at the FIA GT1 World Championship. So, this is a very proven and a very reliable engine. And as well, fun fact that. 2011 GTR with this V8 engine actually won as well that world championship that year. I do miss GT1 world championships. They're they're awesome with the with the engines and the cars. So I didn't even know a GTR had this engine on it. I know few people already who owned the previous lift or previous generation of this and up to now, no issue whatsoever. Just wish you the very best with your fuel economy. That is pretty much it with this Nissan Patrol. Oh, yeah. so speaking of. Let's go for a drive. So finally driving the Nissan Patrol. I am s but bleep scared. <laughs> it feels so weird. Okay. Driving this, yes, it feels so tall. You feel sit so high up in the world like you're king of the world. It's so huge. But when you come to the steering wheel, it's really, really light. Like, I find it easy to drive, to be honest. I didn't expect this at all. And of course, over humps, bumps, and NVH of this is what next level. This is kind of like a, what, Nissan's luxury car already. Not an Infiniti, but this is already one of the most luxurious um, Nissans already around there. And yeah, let's go out first. I'm a bit intimidated. I just want to get to know the car a little bit more. Okay, you can hear the engine already. I love it. But the insulation of this is excellent. And I find the infotainment system a little bit 
what off because it's set like that angle you can see it on screen but yeah it's set a little bit off okay i am just tapping the throttle i'm already what 50 kilometers per hour this is nuts so i see why people buy this over what example an lc300 because wow i didn't expect this at all this feels so refined the cabin is so quiet i i, I to be honest i can't believe it okay the brakes as well are really good it's actually the the height the bite of this is really really high but then again the stopping power of this is okay insane as well like gotta say i already saw the feel like honey but let's save it for later okay i can't wait this is it three two one go Oh my god! <laughs> so fast! I love the sound! <laughs> Whoa, that's so punchy! Yeah, it's a 7 speed automatic transmission. There's a bit of a delay. I don't want to end up riding in tandem where they kept ready cussing in their video. Oh god, so let's put it to manual mode. So I think that's the craziest mode. Alright. Turning circle is not too bad as well. Surprising for a big car. That's enough. In manual mode, I just noticed, despite being a 7-speed transmission, it tends to hang on the gears for quite a while. At only at drive mode, the gearing is quite short, and then at manual mode, it's kind of long. But then again, gives you the best performance. As well, uh, the acceleration time of this, 0 to 100 km per hour, is done in 6.6 .6 seconds. The car is so fast, I already lost the angle of my camera, but that's fine, I don't mind it. There a bit, alright. Suspension, yes. It's soft, you can feel it, it's, you feel it bouncing around, but it's no means an uncomfortable car. Oh my god. Wow, I can't believe it. As well, the fuel economy of this, not surprisingly, it's it's so thirsty. It reads here already reset it. 90.9 liters for 100 kilometers this is hands down the thirstiest car i've ever driven but if you're planning to buy this anyway who the hell cares this is so good all right might get carried away as well the price of this do you know the price sir, that i forgot uh 4.3 4.3 million pesos that's a steal you know why it's even more affordable than this competition like the land cruiser Right, I gotta give this back before I take this home. <laughs> so, that concludes my review of this Nissan Patrol Royale. I have never ever expected to dive this in my life. So I'd like to thank everyone at Nissan Motor Philippines here at the Mowok Concert Grads Autofocus Pre-Christmas Test Dive Event. Yeah, it's a long name. So I'd like to thank Sir Russell over here and Sir Ray over here behind me for making thank this you. test dive review possible. Hey, then I'm gonna give it back. So, hope you guys like and subscribe. I was, and I will see you with more future car reviews and more of the cars here featured here in the MOA concert grounds. Bye bye.